वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेशन थ्री फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ जे ई एडवांस पार्ट वन द टॉपिक इज द डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस एंड आई टेक इन दिस क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस इन द आई आई टी एग्जामिनेशन इन नाइनटीन एटी वन सो द क्वेश्चन इयर इज अ गैस बबल फ्रॉम एन एक्सप्लोजन अंडर वाटर ऑक्सीट्स विद पीरियड टी गिवन बाई पी टू द पावर ए डी टू द पावर बी ई टू द पावर सी वे पी इज द स्टार्टिंग प्रेशर ऑफ द वाटर डी इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर and e is the total energy of the explosion so t is directly proportional to p to the power a d to the power b e to the power c so this can be written as it implies that t is equal to let us say i am just uh, i am substituting this uh, this proportionality sign with a constant so k is a constant which is dimensionless so k p to the power a d to the power b and e to the power c so as per the uh, principle of homogeneity which we have studied in the uh, uh, topic of uh, dimensional analysis in the chapter of units and measurement uh, the dimensions of all the terms on the right hand side and the left hand side of an equation should be equal if the equation is correct and homogeneous so here i will be finding the dimension of pressure density and this uh, total energy and this period and then we and then uh, using the principle of uh, this homogeneity we will be able to find the value of a b and c so here the dimension of period is t dimension of period is t so here i am writing it here you have now we have to find the dimension of pressure now pressure is what see the, the dimension of pressure in uh, pressure in any form uh will be having the same dimension so i will be using the equation of pressure which is equal to force upon area so for, now force is equal to mass into acceleration and this is divided by area the dimension of area is l square the dimension of mass is m and the dimension of acceleration is equal to l 1 t to the power minus 2 so the dimension of pressure will be <coughs> dimension of pressure will be equal to this will be uh dimension of pressure will be equal to m to the power 1 the dimension of acceleration is l1 t minus 2 and the dimension of area is l square l to the power 2 so this will be equal to minus 2 here and we this can be written as m1 l minus 1 t minus 2 so the dimension of static pressure is uh, equal to m1 l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 now we have to find the dimension of density so density is equal to mass upon volume so the uh, uh, dimension of density will be see density is equal to mass upon volume dimension of mass is m dimension of volume is l to the power 3 so the dimension of uh, density will be equal to m to the power 1 l to the power minus 3 energy i can take uh, any formula for energy in order to uh, find the dimension of uh, energy so this will be called i'm taking the uh, the formula of kinetic energy so this is half mv square so the dimension of e will be dimension of energy this will be equal to the dimension of mass is m uh 1 by 2 is a constant so uh, it has it doesn't has any dimension a uh, mass the dimension of mass is m to the power 1 the dimension of velocity is what velocity uh, velocity is equal to, to is equal to di uh, displacement of upon time so that will be equal to l to the power l1 t minus 1 
So L1 T minus 1 whole square this will be equal to L2 e to the power minus 2. So the dimension of energy is equal to, so I will be writing it here. So then the dimension of total energy is equal to m1 l to the power 2 and t to the power minus 2. Now, as per the principle of homogeneity, the dimensions of all the terms on the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation uh, should be equal if the equation is uh, true and homogeneous. So, what I will be doing is now I will be writing this equation in terms of the dimensions. So, this is equal to the dimension of period is T. The dimension of uh, this uh, pressure is uh, M1 L minus 1 T minus 2 to the power A multiplied by the dimension of density which was equal to M1 L to the power minus 3 to the power B multiplied by M1 L 2 t minus 2 to the power c. So this is the dimension of the total energy, this is the dimension of the density and this is the dimension of the pressure and this is t to the power 1. So finally what I am getting here is c. This equation can also be written as t to the power 1 m to the power 0 l to the power 0 and this is equal to m. What I will be doing, uh, doing is here, you, if you will see here, this will become equal to m to the power a, l to the power minus a, t to the power minus 2a. And uh, multiplied by, I am just writing it here, this is equal to m to the power 1, l, sorry, m to the power b, l to the power minus 3b. multiplied by m to the power c, l to the power 2c and t to the power minus 2c. So this is the equation which I have got and uh, now we have to solve this equation. So from this equation we see that here the dimension of, of the equation on the left hand side is uh, the, the dimension of mass on the left hand side of this equation is 0. So here the, dimen the dimension of mass on the right hand side of the equation is m uh, a b and so this will be equal to m to the power a plus b plus c. So a plus b plus c will be equal to 0 because the dimension of m mass on the right side on the right side and on the left hand side of this equation should be equal. So a plus b plus c is equal to 0. Now the dimension of uh, this uh, this t, the dimension of t on the right hand side is minus 2a and minus 2c. Minus 2a minus 2c and this should be equal to 1 because the dimension of the this uh, the dimension of uh, uh, t is uh, 1 on the left hand side of the equation and on the right hand side of the equation it is equal to minus 2a minus 2c so both these has to be equal so minus 2a is equal to minus 2c is equal to 1 first equation this is the second equation and now third the dimension of l on the left hand side is 0 and the dimension of l on the right hand side is equal to minus a minus 3b minus a minus 3b and plus 2c and this will be equal to 0. So this is the third equation. Now, okay, minus, uh, uh, sorry, minus or minus a minus 3b plus 2c is equal to 0 and t, t is equal to, uh, the dimension of t on the left hand side is 1. So 1 is equal to minus 2a and uh, minus 2c and uh, the dimension of m 
on the right hand side is a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c will be equal to 0 so now from uh, these three equations we will be able to find the value of a b and c now from uh, c from this equation 1 and 3 in the equation number 2 we have got a and c so what i will be doing is i will try to eliminate this uh, b from the equation 1 and 3 so what i will be doing is i will multiply the equation number 3 by b um, by 3 M uh, sorry i will multiply the equation number 1 by 3 so what i will be getting is 3a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 0 let us say this is equation number 4 and equation number 3 is minus 2a minus 3b plus 2c is equal to 0 so now i will add this equation 3 and 4 so from 3 and 4 i will be getting what i am adding 3 equation number 3 and 4 so this will be equal to minus a plus 3a this is equal to 2a this will get cancelled out plus 5c uh, sorry yeah 5c and this is equal to 0 and this is say equation number 5 now from equation number 1 and 5 sorry from equation number 2 not 1 from equation number 2 and 5 what I will be doing is I will be adding the equation number 2 and 5 now so by adding the equation, equation number 2 and 5 what I will be getting is minus 2 and uh, this will get cancelled out and I will be getting minus 2c minus 2c uh, plus uh, minus 2 uh, this will get cancelled out and this is equal to uh, minus 2c plus 3c so this is equal to 3c uh, 3c is equal to 1 or c is equal to 1 by 3 so i have got this uh, value of c by uh, adding the equation number 2 and 5 so the value of c is equal to 1 by 3 now if c is equal to 1 by 3 so now what i will be doing is i will be substituting this value of c in equation number 2 so what i will be getting is minus 2a minus 2 c is equal to 1 by 3 this is equal to is equal to 1 so minus 2a minus 2 by 3 is equal to 1 it implies that minus 2a is equal to 1 plus 2 by 3 which is equal to 5 by 3 or it implies that a is equal to minus 5 by 6 so i have got two values a is equal to minus 5 divided by 6 and c is equal to 1 by 3 so now i have to find the value of b only so from equation number 1 from equation number 1 we get value of a is equal to uh, minus 5 by 6 value of b is to be found uh, we have to find the value of b and c is equal to 1 by 3 and this is equal to 0 so this is equal to b minus 5 by 6 plus 1 by 3 which is equal to 0 or we can say that b is equal to 5 by 6 minus 1 by 3 so if i take this lcm this will be equal to 5 and minus 2 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 by 6 or in, in implies that b is equal to 1 by 2 so b is equal to 1 by 2 okay what i have done is i have substituted the value of a, of a and c in the equation number one so a was minus 5 by 6 we have to find the value of b and c was equal to 1 by 3 so from here uh, b is equal to 5 by 6 and this is uh, minus 1 by 3 and this is equal to i have taken the lcm as 6 so this is equal to 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 by 6 which is, so b is equal to 1 by 2 so finally i have got the value of a b and c So, A is equal to 
minus 5 by 6, b is equal to 1 by 2 and c is equal to 1 by 3. So, finally the answer, uh, we have got the answer of a, b and c, a is equal to minus 5 by 6, b is equal to 1 by 2 and c is equal to 1 by 3. So, in this question, we have to use the the uh, prince, the concept of uh, this uh, principle of, uh, of homogeneity which we have studied in the topic of dimension analysis in the chapter of units and measurement. So, in the next session, I will be coming up uh, with the uh, questions uh, which will be related to the calculation of linear dimensions with the help of uh, this uh, Verdier caliper and the screw gauge. So, till then, have a nice day.